hello everybody welcome to my channel in this video like i promised few minutes ago i am going to show you how to adjust the ph okay how to bump up increase the ph of your product using this natural chelator called sodium gluconate in my previous video i demonstrated to you how to use it okay as a chelator a good alternative to demofit pa or sodium fight it now in this video i'm going to show you how to use this okay to bump up the ph of your product i am not going to show you any product per se okay but what i'm going to show you is how to use it so how do you use sodium gluconate to bump up the ph of your product now the first thing you want to do is to make a 10 percent solution so you're going to take your beaker okay 10% solution so I'm going to make 100 gram of this and how do I make the 10% solution we're going to measure 10 gram of sodium gluconate so measure 10 gram of sodium gluconate okay in a clean beaker 10 gram of sodium gluconate okay sorry about the background noise this house is full of wonderful wonderful kits so then we're going to add 90 gram of water to it so i'm going i'm making 10 percent 10 to 90 percent so if you want to make bigger batch it's up to you but because i want to make 100 gram so i'm going to measure 10 gram of sodium gluconate powder which you can uh, find at pure blend natural make sure you go for the usp version then you're going to add 90 gram of water to it to make 100 90 gram of water to this to make 100 gram. If you want to uh, learn how to how to adjust pH properly, you can also watch my previous uh, my whole videos on how to adjust pH. Those videos are very very helpful. So add that and make sure you mix it very well. Mix it until the sodium gluconate dissolves is a very good substitute for dam sodium phytate damophil pa3 and when you have this one you can also use it as your ph adjuster so it's also always a very good a very you know cost effective ingredient because you can use it for different purposes and that's what you should aim for as a as a formulator because you'll be able to save money to make a uh, more product okay so we are going to mix it so once the water dissolves right the next thing you want to do now is if you make a lot of skincare product right you may want to uh, bottle this so that you can reuse it okay so make sure you dissolve it properly okay you have to make sure it's properly dissolved before you use it so now once once the solution dissolve is very is good to go so how do you use it to adjust the ph of your product so let's say you have your product ready now. I'm going to get an emulsion here so that you can see exactly how I use it. Okay. So basically you're going to take, 
So let's say your cream or lotion or anything is, uh, it has a pH of, uh, let's say it has a pH of 4.5 and you want to bump that pH to around 6. Okay, that's the essence of adding this to it. So what you're going to do is going to get yourself a disposable pipette and you have, you have a, re a reusable one, that's okay, right? So what you would do is that you're going to take your whole product, okay? This requires a lot of practice, but I can't tell you exactly, oh, this is the amount you should have. No, it's, you're going to get that through try and error. So you're going to take your sodium gluconate solution, add it to the, your emulsion, okay? Then you're going to mix it well. You're going to mix it well. Now, this is an emulsion I made about nine months ago. Can you see how stable it is? It looks just so fresh as if it was made yesterday, isn't it? That is the power of a chilator. When you add a chilator to a product, that product is going to last longer than a product that doesn't have any chilator. And this is a lotion that was made nine months ago it's not smelling bad or anything is as stable as anything so that's the power of cosmetic chemistry now after adding a little bit at a time you're going to make uh, you're going to make one percent dilution okay how do you check the ph of your product make one percent dilution if you do not understand what I'm talking about, perhaps you don't. You need to learn a bit about cosmetic formulation. So it's not something I'm going to train in the context of this video. But if you know about cosmetic formulation, you I know you understand exactly what I am doing here. Okay. So basically, you're going to now check the pH. How do you check the pH? I'm just going to do a little bit of recap. Make sure everything you use is clean. Okay, I'm using a rubbing alcohol here to clean this sponge so that we don't get any unpleasant surprise. So take one percent. So I'm going to just take one gram of my lotion, one gram of my lotion. So then you're going to add nine gram of water to that to make 10 right then you're going to blend it well Blend it well, then you're going to use your pH meter to check the pH. Even if you want to adjust your pH, you still have to check it. This is the most important part of cosmetic formulation, okay? A lot of skincare products on the market are irritating people's skin because it was not done properly. You have to check the pH of your product. So let's check the pH. Turn on your pH meter. Let's dip it in to see what we have. Now, it's not that I'm, 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 I'm worrying about the pH, but as you can see, the pH of this uh, cream has bumped up because I had it sodium gluconate. The pH originally was around 5.5. So I had it a bit of sodium gluconate, 10% sodium gluconate solution, and we have 7.0. You understand? So that is how, so you're going to wait until this uh, reading stops. So you're going to check and whatever you have, right, is your pH. So let's say you want to go, is your, the pH of your lotion is 5.5 and you want to go to 6. So you're going to be adding 0.2% uh, increment at a time. 
that's the trick for checking the pH of your solution or adjusting it. So had 0.2% increment at a time. So let's say your lotion is 100 gram, right? You're going to add 0.2 gram increment at a time, right? So let's say you're now at a uh, reading, you have a reading that you, that's lower, right? It all depends. Let's say you, your cream is 5.5 and you want to go to 6.0, you had it, uh, I mean, now in the context of you are making 100 gram of cream, you had a 0.2 gram of sodium, glu sodium gluconate solution to it, and you got maybe 5.8. You know you are very close there. I will not recommend you now have 0.2 gram again. No, you're going to, at that time, you're just going to have maybe one or two drops. Okay, not up to the amount you added because you know you are already close to that that target pH that you are aiming for. I hope everyone understands uh, where I'm going. So this is about it for this view. This is how you check the pH and this is how you adjust it with sodium gluconate solution. If you have any question about checking and adjusting the pH of your solution, uh, you can also drop it in the comment box below. Okay, uh, if you want to learn cosmetic formulation, yes, I do teach cosmetic formulation at stablecosmeticformulas.com look in the description box below look on your screenshot that's uh, about it for this video so i hope i've been of help one way or the other so if you love this video give it a thumbs up and click the subscribe button and the notification icon to be notified when i upload my next video thanks for watching